Well, it's a new twist on a story you've heard before. Employers struggling to find workers. The same is true for law enforcement agencies across the country. And one of the areas potential recruits are lost the most in the physical fitness test. So this morning, News 8 Shelby Kluver got to try that test for herself. She went down to Springfield to join FBI agents for what was called Media Day to see if she has what it takes to be a special agent, new tonight on News 8 at 6. Good morning. It's the test. Uh, today you're going to be taking the FBI physical fitness test. Of an agent. The FBI physical fitness test consists of four events. On Tuesday, only two reporters were brave enough to show up. You'll need a minimum of 35 to 36 sit-ups for one point. For one point? Yeah, exactly, yeah. Under the watchful eyes of FBI agents, right. we three, started. Two, one, go. With the sit-ups. Five. <laughs> How much time is that? Six. You're good. Keep going. Keep going. We're not done. Nope. After that came some cardio in the form of a simple 300-meter sprint. And despite the pain, oh my gosh, this event had a sweet ending. You made it. You needed a minute four. You got it in a minute three. Yeah. So one point. But once the push-ups began, now participants' back will be straight. Things quickly fell apart. Oh no. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Three. My real number was two. I think that would actually be negative points, unfortunately. <laughs> Finally, after all that, came a mile and a half run. And while it wasn't always the prettiest, 936, 937, you got two laps. I did manage to complete the race. 1505, 1506. And my field test. <sighs> From the time somebody starts the application to the people who go to Quantico, are less than two or three percent of the people who are successful. And the physical test weeds out many, not just in the FBI. We do see probably somewhere around 20 percent of the people are not prepared to. Um, you know, run the, the fitness exam. It's another hurdle Moline Police Chief Darren Galt has to overcome when it comes to recruitment. We're down about 93% in applicants. In the 90s, Moline PD would regularly have more than 200 people test at a time. And our last uh, testing cycle, we only had 15 people. So Shelby, great effort. But after completing this Very test perfect. with most of my uh, dignity intact. I love negative five points for this <laughs> test. So uh, that is not a passing score. I think I'll keep my current job. In Springfield and in need of a vacation, Shelby Kluver, WQAD News 8. Oh, Shelby, she would have needed nine points. She did not quite get those points, but she did complete the entire test, and that's an accomplishment in itself. Moline PD will be doing their own recruitment testing, which is the same as what you just saw, and that will be taking place next month. She did get a little coin, a little badge oh, okay. for her effort, so nice. well done, Shelby. Okay. <laughs>